Hello, this is a demonstration of the Nagra D connected to a PC. Um, the uh, program is called the NADCOM and it just allows uh, the Nagra D to talk to the PC and uh, in its basic format allow you to control basic things like transport. And if I just go over here, click on play, the Nagra D is now going to go into play mode. You notice that the VU meters uh, on the machine can actually be, if I go under window, uh, tools, and I go to modulometers, there are the uh, VU meters showing all four tracks of the Nagra D. The Nagra D is able to uh, hold directories of uh, particular tracks of music, um, or so it's for when it's being used on location. It's an easy way of, of locating uh, tracks. At the moment, obviously, there's nothing on the uh, index because I haven't put any data on there. You've got error correction history now. There, everything that's in green is quite perfectly acceptable. But if there's an error on the tape and it's had to work quite hard to correct that digital error, you'll get something come along uh, and you'll see a red line basically. And that will tell you if there's been any errors. Other things on here, <clears throat> it tells you uh, the clock settings. So uh, you can set the actual sampling frequency remotely from the machine. So rather than going through the machine's uh, uh, menus, which are quite hard to use, you can actually use the sampling frequency switch um, via uh, the computer and if I just change it, it obviously won't like this, but if I change it to 32 kilohertz, obviously it's now playing it back at 32k, although this track was recorded at 48. Put it back to 48. Okay. Cool. Obviously all your inputs and outputs can be switched between analog or digital via this uh, switching system. You've got time code settings, again that all comes up on screen. The machine information, now it says on here Nagra D, there's its serial number, the original owner was Richmond Film Services, which I bought it from, obviously software, and it says the analog converter is um, 24 bits at 96 kilohertz, just about tell that there, um, and it's got some kind of Sony protocol. Basically, that allows you to use it with uh, Sony editing systems if you're using it for film. If I carry on down, there's another interesting one here that says measurements. Now what that's telling you is as the machine's playing, it's showing you all the voltages that are going on within the machine, so it's easy for someone that's servicing the machine to actually see if there are any faults of the machine at all. Got time code counters, okay, it's telling you about all the different information for time code. Okay, and that's pretty much it um, for those particular things. There are um, quick and uh, easy ways of uh, going to uh, the menus. You'll see the error correction, there was a, there's a big red line here. Now what that is actually telling you is when I switched over to 32K, it didn't like that. Okay, and uh, but obviously since it's been back to 48, it's gone back and it's cleared itself. You can switch there to your, to your meters, all right? Okay, um, so these are all the, the shortcuts to all the information um, for the machine. Um, if we just pan back, go onto the keyboard. Okay, the uh, F buttons. Okay, okay, that's uh, F6 is stop, F5 is, is play, okay. You pan out, and if you actually check on the machine, you can actually see the machine can now fast forward or rewind remotely or play via the keyboard. Hope you like my demonstration of the Nagra D uh, NADCOM software. That's as much as I know. Thank you for watching.